What does it mean to be a hero? We have Yuji and Tsukuna who share so many similarities, so many qualities, so many narrative parallels, and even a body, right? But at the end of the day, they couldn't be more different. They are narrative foils, polar opposites, two sides of the same coin. But what defines that difference? Is it that Yuji is a hero and Tsukuna is a villain? Well, it obviously goes deeper than that, right? Tsukuna is the epitome of selfishness, whereas Yuji is selfless. And that shows in every arc throughout this story, starting with the words that his grandpa bestowed upon him on his deathbed, right? You're a strong kid, so help others. And at the end of the day, that's what a hero does, right? They help others, even at their own expense, even when they don't think they have anything to offer, they still rush head forward into danger and do what they can. And that's why we root for these characters, why we can identify with them. Because even though the world of Jujutsu Kaisen is a far different place than our world, we still share a lot of darkness. You know, we don't have cursed spirits or a thousand year old sorcerers running around, but we have our host of problems that some might say were far worse than that. So it's just refreshing to see characters that want to do good and maybe have special abilities to even help them in that regard, stand up to the face of that evil and do their best to thwart it. And I think one of the reasons these types of stories really resonate with people is because they ultimately show us that you don't have to be like Gojo. You don't need to be the honored one with the six eyes and the limitless in order to make a difference. No, you can just make a difference where you're at by contributing what you can. Like Muhammad here. He is 16 years old and currently stuck in a war-torn Palestine. And he is drawing pictures of his favorite anime characters. And recently he has been doing that to raise awareness for his family's fundraising so that they can try and escape. As you can see, Muhammad loves Jujutsu Kaisen, just like we do. And he's just a kid, the same age as Yuji and Megami. But instead of worrying about what crazy twist Gege might throw at us next chapter, he has to worry about if he and his family will make it to next week. And like I mentioned, Muhammad is using his art to try and help his family. They are trying to raise money so that they can escape to safety. And as you can see here, he's talking about if they can reach a certain goal, he will release his next drawing for people to see. And that is just absolutely devastating. And I know this is but a drop in the ocean of the countless people that this conflict has affected. And I know this conflict is complicated. There is a lot of information and it feels overwhelming to try and understand it and do what you can to try to help. Um, that's how I've felt often. But this is simple. This isn't complicated. This is just about helping Muhammad and a family get to safety so that they may get some form of normalcy back in their lives. So if you're in a position where you can afford to help right now and it's on your heart to do so, then please consider donating to help Muhammad and his family escape to safety. I'm going to have the link to this GoFundMe in the comment section of whatever platform you're watching on. And I'm also going to throw Muhammad's IG tag up on the screen in case you want to go check out his artwork and support him in that way. Because I know not everyone can afford to donate money, but there are other ways to support. You can share this video, spread awareness about other families, and together maybe we can bring some ounce of light to this absolute darkness the world is dealing with.